What's going on, guys? We're in a building. Come with me to a world of pure imagination. Got an old cat face. He back in the building, y'all. So come with me, guys, just to piss him off. I'm just messing around. See, when you got people who won't leave you alone, sometimes you got to mess with them. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I mean by, by messing with him, guys, what I mean by is uh, Catman Do and him and his fans, these idiots, apparently I didn't know, guys. Apparently this man called me when I was broadcasting. Now I want y'all to I want y'all to just think for a second. And if you're watching on live with Tommy Sotomayor, I'm gonna shut you down because you have to come over to the link in the description box to be able to come and watch the show. And we're over here at um Tommy Sotomayor's random randomness. The link is in the description box. I want y'all to, I want y'all to do me a favor because his dumbass audience. I want y'all to, I, I'm gonna let y'all see his dumbass audience because not only is he dumb, but the people around him are dumb. So guys, let me ask you a question. If I made a YouTube video about another person's life, just continue to do it. Then I picked up my phone and called that individual while they were live or while trying to get their attention. I called them on the phone while I'm live on my show to try to talk to them. Would you guys then tell me if that guy made a video about me trying to call them and leaving a three minute voice message? Would you guys go along with me if I told y'all that person harassing me? I don't know why they, they bothering me. Would y'all go along with me if that person replied to me fucking with them on their, on their phone number? Just calling randomly. You already know y'all don't like each other. Would y'all sit up there and be like, yeah, Tommy, he, 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 you're, he, he's stalking you. Would y'all be like, I don't know why he's making a video about you. Why don't he leave it alone? Do y'all know these stupid motherfuckers are over there right now trying to act like I'm doing something wrong by playing this nigga's video. Look at the comments that they're making. Look, just so y'all can see right now. It's the same old people who stalk me all the time. Look at what this person wrote. He's lying and begging now. What 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 begging did I do? Sorry. But y'all, that's what they kept writing. Are you going to use my name to go and beg? 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 He's showing the chat right now. Well, it's obvious because nobody watches y'all, sir. Nobody was watching you all day. He took down the video of him acting a damn fool. Yes, this is stupid, y'all. This is dumb. This grown ass man, just so we can get into it and not pretend. I want y'all to understand that this man may, well, let's see what he's saying right now. Motherfuckers need to know what I thought about him. Who am I? Remember, he's somebody. He's a radio show host. I'm just Styles. But they need to know what the, the nothing nigga said about the, the, somebody, the somebody nigga. Yeah. This dead. is what he's saying. You're so big, dead. you shouldn't care. That's it. You dead, homie. I'm good. So Tommy started an argument to, to play victim and big. Look at that. Defense, save it. Look at what it says. Tommy started an argument to play victim and big. All right, y'all. Let me know if I started an argument. If this man put together this video that you're about to hear right now, this man put together this video for no good reason. Everything that goes on in my life, this man must discuss. I don't know why he just feels like he must. So you tell me if me making this video is over the top and I'm begging. Y'all know how they always come up with money. Again, I got to ask, what have I begged for? You, you're using my name so you can go and beg. If I'm using your name to go and beg, wouldn't common sense be you'd stop using my name in your videos. You'd stop making videos like this. I promise to God, 
I promise to God, you know what's going on. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, hey. Before the fuck any one of y'all say anything, let me put the hammer down, right? Watch how his crowd turns on him. Watch. They're Ain't always no saying yes. About the... Watch. Hold on, I'm gonna make sure y'all see the chat room on the screen while this fool's trying to act like me now responding to this video that I just seen is somehow wrong. You're trying to play victim. This is what he's saying. And they're agreeing with him. Not one person over there has said, well, you did mess with that man and you did make this video and you did say these things which weren't warranted. People have a bad ass tendency of kicking you when you down. Motherfuckers are about to watch. This is the universe. This is the universe doing this to you, dude. And it's coming back in three. Dude, you are popped. You are popped. That's the nature of human beings. I'm not trying to wish that on you. That's just the way shit goes. Your money dry up. Your, your future plans get shot the fuck down. Your money dry up and then everybody turn on you. Dude, it's coming. I'll bet everything I got on that shit. Bikes, car, all my motherfucking memorabilia, the whole nine, which is far more than 100 G's. I put everything I got on that shit. Hell no. Hell no. Because if he did, he wouldn't be on this motherfucker talking that shit. Hell no. He ain't got shit. He popped. That nigga is busted. He's He ain't got shit. He popped. Question. Why the fuck? Would this man keep talking about my money? Serious business. He doesn't know it. He then says he popped, but then says you gonna be begging. Well, if I'm popped, whatever this stupid word you use, you lame son of a bitch, then I should be begging, sir. But why would another grown man, a 50 year old nigga, make a video talking about some he popped and you've been saying I'm popped. For how long, nigga? Wasn't you saying it when them fat ass AKAs and that fat bitch you live with was supposed to be doing something to me? Huh, nigga? Huh? What happened to that fat bitch you live with, nigga? You can't stop talking about me. Then you want to turn around and act like I'm saying something about you out of the blue. I didn't even speak about you the last time you spoke about me, you dumb son of a bitch, and you knew it. Matter of fact, this lame motherfucker saw the show I did last night. Do y'all know that nigga tried to do a show this morning about the same damn topic? Somebody tell me I'm lying. Go on, somebody tell me why I lied at. This nigga tried to do a topic of a show today on the same damn topic in which I did. Talking about uh, the LGBT. Same shit. He even, if you go look, he even used the same verbiage. He used the same verbiage. I said, oh my God, these niggas really want to be like me. Be like Mike. Leave me alone. This is insane. And ain't now one of them jackasses in the group that ain't nothing but old ex Soto fans. Cause right now they so happy they get to talk about me. He don't realize lame. You can't even run a show without talking about me. Them niggas would rather talk about me all damn day. Them niggas would rather talk about me all damn day. Somebody says, Tommy, ain't you a millionaire? Why you tripping over AdSense? Look at this, the dog. This niggas study stalking me. When have I tripped over AdSense? Charlie said, fuck him and his daughter. I'm sorry, when was I tripping over AdSense? Justin Trick says, Tommy has no be no content without YouTube beef, but they won't leave me the fuck alone. Christopher P says the same thing. Chris P. He won't come back to Arizona. Do y'all understand that they, their comment section says the exact same thing? Same thing. Every time I do one of these niggas' videos, their comment section say the exact same thing. This nigga said, I'm a chat stalker, but this other person ain't no stalker of my life. Tommy, he popped. He popped. Who the fuck even says he popped? And y'all sit there and listen to a nigga tell y'all he popped. Then that's logical. I don't even wish bad on my dude, but he popped. Right, I turned all the beefs into a comedy show. They don't know how to do it. They're too stupid.
Thank you, Upward Ninja. Upward Ninja said, I'm from... They Y'all see they block Upward Ninja? He said, all he said was, I'm unbiased. Tommy does have a point. If y'all left him alone, you cannot say he's just starting beef. If you left him alone and he wouldn't say nothing to you, that doesn't make sense. This cherry bomb said you didn't start shit. He didn't start shit, but he's making this video. Popped. Blow the pilot light out, nigga. End it all. Take all the pills, bruh. End it all. It's one of those type of situations. It's done. I'm not saying, again, I'm saying that as, as a joke, like, dog, it's done. It's over with. Dead. You killed yourself. It's dead. Yo, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Dog, it's a wrap. And that the dog is just a dumbass. Look what he wrote. Tommy lying and begging now. What have I even asked for? That this, I'm telling y'all, this shit is weird. They wake up every day to fuck with someone. And then when you say something back, oh, you only survive on beef. You begging. One, if you left me alone, I couldn't say anything to you. Then you would be telling the truth that I'm just starting beef because you're not saying anything to me and I keep saying something back. But you're literally saying something to me and I'm saying nothing. And then when I respond, I'm I, I, he lives off beef and AdSense. What the fuck? These niggas are really idiots. You on your way down, and I'm sorry for you, bro. I'm you on your way down, and I'm sorry for you, bro. What kind of grown man sit around having this conversation? Listen to this. This is this is the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen. And then nigga, this is what lets y'all know like there's a problem. Them niggas over there, and all they do in every one of these niggas' chat rooms, they act like the person is right. They never say, "Well, you are fucking with this person for no fucking reason." The man is deeply sad. He came here, but everybody want to be him. Nigga. Sorry, I promise to God, I would take no enjoyment in it. I'm like, them donations about to... And notice what they're doing. Anybody that's being objective, they're blocking them. Anybody that's being objective, they're blocking them. That upward ninja only went over there and said, he does have a point. You made this video about him. You said this shit. Y'all sit there in the comment section to talk about this nigga. He responds and somehow he's the one that just won't beef. Watch. I promise to God I would take no enjoyment in it. I'm like, them donations about to watch. Yeah, that's what's funny. The Dre Dizzle said, what ads though? Isn't half of your content demonetized? That's what's funny. Isn't it funny, guys? This nigga said, okay, let's talk it out. Talk what out? You're gonna act like a bitch. You're gonna act like a bitch. You won't leave me the fuck alone. I, and I guarantee y'all, if I have a conversation with this dumbass, watch. I tell you what, I don't have a conversation with this stupid son of a bitch. He been calling me all morning. I'm going to let y'all hear this, then I'll talk to the stupid son of a bitch. And I'll let him explain to me why I, will, I, why I can't make a comment back to this video. Ooh. This Google is this nigga calling call my phone. Not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Dude, all jokes aside, man, I just looked at your channel making a point about what's going on. The fact that you playing a victim now that YouTube done demonetized you or whatever, you trying to associate yourself to other people, that's something else. Your whole little they attacking free speech and all of that, blah, blah, blah. You can't talk that nonsense to me because I always said to people they shouldn't censor you, but I guess YouTube felt differently. At least you shouldn't be paid. Say whatever, but you ain't going to be paid for it no more. That's neither here nor there. Bro, not that it's my place, but I'm just asking. This shit means so much to you that you're so dependent and so, like, I guess you just so, you need to be on this shit so fucking bad that you're willing to throw your kid to the fucking wolves. You don't have any other options. You don't have any other alternatives to follow. You don't have any other, you know what I'm saying, things in the works. You don't have anything stocked, stocked and stacked so you can do something. So that your, your best move, your next move is putting your daughter up like a shield. 
because this is the same nigga that said he doesn't watch me. All them niggas say the same bullshit. I don't watch you. This motherfucker called my phone and left this voice message on my phone. Saying that I'm somehow doing something to my daughter because my daughter and I were playing video games in my brand new game room. Why the fuck was he watching it? Saying that she's already been approached, insulted, threatened, and all this other nonsense behind this stuff that you do. One, associating your name to her is not a smart move. Two, now trying to link yourself with her to do a kid-friendly show is testament to the fact that you's trying to stay on YouTube. It's How was I trying to do a kid-friendly show when I was playing Red Dead Redemption and Killer uh, and um, Mortal Kombat 11? This nigga's stupid. Yo, this nigga's stupid. I was trying to do a kid-friendly show by playing Red Dead Redemption and Mortal Kombat 11. Still garner some of that Google fucking welfare. Now far be it for me to judge anybody how they handle their shit with the parental, you know what I'm saying, duties and all of that. But that ain't what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about, your selfishness has no fucking boundaries, has no fucking limits. Dude, you are weak as fuck. One, I don't think you should be trying to galvanize nobody to action. You should not be speaking for no group. You know what I mean? But on top- So now the nigga to sit there and watch my video with Owen, when they made, all of them made a video saying, look at how he's no longer dealing with um, Alex Jones. Alex Jones, they all made that video. Now he making a video about a video that I did back with Owen. So it was a problem that I left um, working with Owen. Now it's a problem that I'm working back with him. You got to make a video about me not working with Alex Jones then, and now with me working with Alex Jones then again. Think about how stupid this is. These niggas sit around and then they keep writing, Tommy don't have any other material. Tommy's a loser. But these motherfuckers are talking about me. Your views go up when y'all talk about me. You couldn't tell your audience right now to move the fuck on and talk about something else. You couldn't. Because your audience wants to talk about me. If they didn't, they would stop. My audience doesn't bring up your name. My I, Nobody brings me a video of you. Nobody does this. This doesn't make sense. On top of all that, you show time and time again what you think about her and just women in general, dude. She's just an object for you to fucking subject, su subject to this stupid shit. Now he's talking about my daughter. Uh, she's just a, uh, 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 you don't care about your daughter. Nigga, you don't care about yours. You don't want to sit up there. Uh, uh, who, who loves you? Who loves you? XO, XO. That, that's your lame ass. Not me. I don't have to sit up there and pretend and make my daughter say she love me or, pr or pretend I ain't seen them motherfuckers in years with your jackass. You ain't seen your kids in years. You get to see them for two damn weeks and then you the daddy of the year. It wasn't even two damn weeks. You got to see them for a few days. Punk. Bro. Bro. Everybody around you is a stepping stone, huh? That's why the fuck you by yourself. Yo, I really, really, for this alone, I really, really hope something happens to you, bitch. He left me a message saying he really hopes something happened to me, bitch. That was his voicemail message. And them niggas over there acting like me saying, me doing a video now is me fucking with them. Think about it. Look at what they're writing. I wanted y'all to see how insane that group of people is. How insane that group of people is to where they would sit there and pretend like I'm doing something to them. Real talk, I did the right thing by just cutting the shit off and taking it down. Because I knew you was on some dumb shit. I knew you was on some stupid shit. I just didn't go to your fucking channel. You had this shit plotted out, nigga. You sitting in your fucking house thinking of who you can fuck with so you can beg for money? Listen. Listen to this fool. Come on, man. Nah, man, you can't come over here no more, bro. Yes, that was a voicemail. You can't even type in my chat room no more. Uh, 
Yeah, bro. Any of your people come over and mention something to you, they get instantly blocked. Anybody bring your name up after today, getting your name instantly blocked. Getting that shit instantly blocked, bro. Real shit. That's it, bro. I'm done. I'm done. This goof... I actually thought you had a real issue, bro. I actually thought you had a real... I Early, he kept calling my phone. Me. Fucking play you like a, the moron you are, dude. You a sucker. No, he not. He not a man, dude. This is a motherfucking feminine ass motherfucking gender fucking gender suspicious ass motherfucker, man. This nigga's a fag, man. That man just said I'm a fag. Y'all heard him. He said I'm a gender suspicious ass nigga. I am a fag. And that's what he said. The man who just said that did this. No. Beaters got me moaning. The man who said that did this. Beaters got me. Beaters got me. Beaters got me moaning. Stick that big D in my ass. Come gang, come shot. Big dick, big come stay. Who's straight? No way, penis game, check my mood, eh? Squirt, squirt, penis got me booty up, like it rub, double pump, big dick, can't get enough, been enough, been a cum, jerk it up, suck it till it up, bust, come shop, penis got me fuck on my day ones, been in never giving dick as I take one, want that penis baby only to shave ones, he ain't fuck me back when he was straight, huh? Yeah, you know I do my dance on the dick. Take a shit, come drip. Suck his dick, let that dick chip. Nut it up, rub it up, beat me over, then he fuck my butt. That drippy, 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 drippy. Nut dick tip till he ski, huh? Riding like a dimmer's bed his dick, come huh? If you really wanna shoot, come lick your knee up. Uh. It was really nice, morning loud, but I see ya. Uh. I'm a ski, I pray to God that I'm drunkin' with my feet. I pray to God that that penis go deep Praying that your main nigga put his hands on me Used to call my booty rough, now he clapping on my cheek I ain't straight, are you straight nigga? Turn you gay nigga Dick so good, make my booty jump nigga All I do is fuck niggas and I suck niggas Come gang, suck you up nigga, bet you not quicker Stick that big D in my ass Come gang, come shot Big dick, big come stay who's straight? No way, penis game, check my mood, eh? Squirt, squirt, penis got me booty up, like it rub. Double pump, big D, can't get enough, get enough. That's the man no. who said that, that's the fellow right there who said that I am gay. That's him. That's the one who just made this statement. Let's see if I can, and, and can, I'm scared, I don't know how to rewind it. This is the one who made this statement. Fucking play you like a, the moron you. Oh, he took it down. Y'all, he took it down. Him don't want nobody to hear what he was saying. Him don't. Him don't want nobody to hear what he was saying. Where him crowd at? Huh? Where him crowd at? Did y'all leave? Did y'all leave? Huh, bro? Is that what happened? Oh man, you you, you feel bad? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> listen. Yeah, hey, bro. Hey, man. Um, I'm glad I ended that broadcast that you came in with that random, random, randomness channel. Yeah, I'm glad I ended that because I felt like you was on some dumb shit. But the fact that you trying to stage some bullshit so you can like steal you know, money, well beg, still beg for money from your crowd. Like, dog, that's some real tacky low life shit, but I expect nothing less from you. Bro, do yourself a favor, man. Just stay off my channel, man. I'm gonna say what I wanna say when I wanna say it, and you're gonna continue being a bitch when you feel like it, man. So nice try, man, but peace. Well, that wasn't all. As you know, I'm doing a live broadcast, so I'm confronting you in real time to address whatever issue it is that you have. You dig? Since you came trying to be a disturbing element in my show, I'm attempting to approach you civil and calm 
to see what it is other than a ploy to try to get online to beg for money. That's what I think it is. We'll see, though, won't we? Y'all, this was a message apparently he left on me. He left, oh my God, he left several messages on my phone Friday. I haven't seen any of these. Oh, this is all, this is some new shit. I, like, I didn't know all this. Let, let's listen. Thomas, hello, it's LeBrandon. Listen, I heard about this most unfortunate turn of events that, well, YouTube, uh, well, they did a they did a dick in a booty move to you, bro. I know things have changed abruptly, but that's okay. I'm Look, I'm here to offer a solution. Listen, I don't know if you have any money stash, but what you can do, you can go to your crowd and beg and listen. I still sell bikes and shit. I can help you get them for a wholesale price. You feel me? And then you can change, you know, then take that to the market down there and, and just hit me up. Monstrosity, M-O-N-S-T-R-O-S-I-T-Y-1-9 at Gmail. Okay? Because you're going to have to get some money now, dog. I don't want to see you out there, you know what I'm saying, in, in Five Points or at Hartsfield Airport shaking cans and carrying bags and shit. You're better than that. Now we both know that you can't go mainstream, that you're pretty at the end, you know, pretty much at the end of your world. And I'm not here to kick you when you down. I'm here to help you rise again, bro. Uncle Styles loves you. Give me a call back. Okay? Until then, hey, take care and don't think about suicide. Don't. Don't. This was at 9.55 a.m. Friday. Y'all, this was at 9.55 a.m. Friday. Then he turned around at 9.58 and left another message. Listen. Man, I was just thinking about um, what happened, bro. And like, right now and shit, like how- And y'all gotta remember, y'all saw what his dumbass fans were writing. These motherfuckers aren't even honest. They won't stop for a second and say, well, wait a minute, you kept calling this nigga in the morning on a Friday. He wasn't bothering you. It's Tuesday now. He didn't even know you sent all this shit. You kept calling this nigga's number. How did you know this nigga's number? Why were you calling this man in the morning to talk to him because you believe he lost his ad sense and now you're trying to tell him, ah, uh, you can go beg your audience. What the fuck? Wow! The universe got its entire fuck, fucking foot up to its kneecap in your ass. Well, you might not realize that yet, but that's really what's happening. Now, I know you're gonna sit on your show and like, look everybody, and this this is a grown ass man. Um, you was a grown ass man doing all the shit you've been doing. Since two days ago, you came on the show and you tried to, I guess, justify your actions towards, you know, attacking True Freeman. Just the thought that silently your fucking life is unraveling with this revelation that if it's true that your ad sense has been taken from you, I just laugh because your relevance is going to fucking just like, it's going to dwindle, it's going to diminish, it's going to fucking dis the fuck appear real goddamn fast. Uh, that's for you. At any rate, bro, it doesn't matter when you hear that in your ears, it's going to sound fucked up. At any rate, bro, um, this is Styles. And I'm enjoying this because you have profited off trying to make me and other people look like shit for the longest time. And that bullshit money that you flaunt is why everybody was behind you. Do you know why it's so funny to me right now? Because I've been plugging away, grinding away, you know, saying patiently at my shit in the real world. And now you're about to lose everything and all I'm doing is maintaining. That's funny. I remember when you was on your show talking shit you have no friends, you have no spouse, no companion, no respect, right? And now the little thing that gave you validity and value, you lost that. You're back to the nothing little black ass Anthony Scamilton alligator mouth flip top head motherfucker that you always been. The only difference is without money, now you're just gonna be a bad dresser. Cause most people that's rich dress like shit. But now that you can't play rich no more, no more struggle mansion. No more fronting. No more flight, you no know, saying no more flying in whores. No more Bellagio booty hole bumps. 
you gonna have to motherfucking eat pussy in the cornfield like you used to. Enjoy life, bro. Bye now. Jesus Christ. Well, that wasn't it, guys. He sent another one at. Let's see. He sent another one at 10:02. So he just kept calling back to back. Yeah, the art of war states that when you know your enemy's weaknesses, irritate them. And again, I was telling you, you should have stocked your money, man. You should have stacked your bread, bought you some shit, got on some executive producer shit, you know. You know something else, man? My radio, believe me, I like it loud. I'm the man with the box that can lock the crowd. You know what I mean, bro? Yeah. I was just sitting here thinking. Yeah. So what you gonna do now, bro? Like, remember, like when you used to not be, well, you ain't never changed, but remember when you knew that you wasn't shit before you started pretending like you were something? Well, now that you know you're going back to what you used to be, essentially, you're anticipating not being shit again. What's that like? When you have bowls of cereal, do you let the cereal get like soggy a little bit or do you just go right in for the crunch? When you step in dog doo doo, do you lift your foot up in front of you or do you look over your shoulder at the, the sole of your foot? Cause if you look over your, over your shoulder, you're gay. Okay. I bet you look over your shoulder. You said that Thor was a sexy man. Did you know that Hitler was ticklish, much like the blue whale? Toothpicks be coming from trees and shit. Call me back, bro. What the fuck? And then this was the one he let these. This was all Friday. Dude, these were all Friday. All jokes aside, man. I just looked at your channel making a point about what's going on. The fact that you playing a victim now that YouTube done demonetized you or whatever, you trying to associate yourself to other people. That's something else. Your whole little they attacking free speech and all of that, blah, blah, blah. You can't talk that nonsense to me because I always said to people they shouldn't censor you, but I guess YouTube felt differently. At least you shouldn't be paid. Say whatever, but you ain't gonna be paid for it no more. That's neither here nor there. Bro, not that it's my place, but I'm just asking. This shit means so much to you that you're so dependent and so like, I guess you just so, you need to be on this shit so fucking bad that you willing to throw your kid to the fucking wolves. You don't have any other options. You don't have any other alternatives to follow. You don't have any other, you know what I'm saying, things in the works. You don't have anything stocked, stocked and stacked so you can do something. So that your, your best move, your next move is putting your daughter up like a shield. Because saying that she's already been approached, insulted, threatened, and all this other nonsense behind this stuff that you do. One, associating your name to her is not a smart move. Two, now trying to link yourself with her to do a kid-friendly show is testament to the fact that you're trying to stay on YouTube and still garner some of that Google fucking welfare. Now, far be it for me to judge anybody how they handle their shit with the parental, you know what I'm saying, duties and all of that. But that ain't what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about, your selfishness has no fucking boundaries, has no fucking limits. Dude, you are weak as fuck. One, I don't think you should be trying to galvanize nobody to action. You should not be speaking for no group. You know what I mean? But on top of all that, you show time and time again what you think about her and just women in general, dude. She's just an object for you to fucking subject, su subject to this stupid shit. Bro. Bro, everybody around you is a stepping stone, huh? 
That's why the fuck you by yourself. Yo, I really, really, for this alone, I really, really hope something happens to you. Bitch. Jeez. Now, let me ask anybody who's, um, because he took his video down. How can anybody believe, let's stop. How can anybody believe that when I finally responded to him five days later, I'm the one looking for drama? Christopher P, you can get the fuck out of my comment section because you, when you were over in his comment section and y'all don't block him, I'm going to ask him to leave. Christopher P, you were over in his comment section talking about I was delusional, acting like I made this shit up. Now, you got a choice right now. You can either admit that this nigga started it and is acting like a dumbass or you can get the fuck out, Mr. Chris P. How about that? No, no, no. I, tell, I Man, come on, man. I said don't block him. I'm waiting. I want to see if he'll, if, I want to see if he'll admit, because Mr. Christopher P, as if I'm stupid or something. I'm just waiting. So let me ask you something, Mr. Chris P. Why would you now have you a little uh, page where it's obvious you're stalking me, Chris P? Hmm? Because when you were over there, let me just ask you a question. Why didn't you go over there and tell him that? You told him I was delusional. But can you explain to me why is it you fed to his delusion when you knew he was lying? Help me out, bro. That's all I want is a little help. If, if you could, just, just help me out a little bit. Please explain, explain that in something. Explain it to me. It's entertainment to stir the pot. I'm pretty sure it is, sir. So you and Clue because Clue thought it was funny. And there's nothing wrong with thinking it's funny. So I want y'all to think about this. Do y'all know that's the the majority of his comment section? A bunch of people who know he's lying. A bunch of people who know every one of these dudes fucking with me is full of shit. A bunch of people who know it. They know he's full of shit. They know he's lying. Here's what we're going to do. Watch this. subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Uh, sir, your gay ass called me several times on my phone over and over again, Friday and today. For what reason? Oh, so you like to be able to talk about people behind them, but then when confronted with it, you like to delete videos. Is that what you're doing, bro? You love calling people gay and saying what's gay. Well, there's nobody more gay than you. Did you not listen to those messages you left me, man? You a grown man. You're 50. And at 50 years old, you are still worried about if I won't be living in a mansion anymore. If I'm going to be broke and if I'm begging my audience for money. Well, sir, I'm going to beg from right now. Hey, audience, make sure you guys click that donate button. Since I'm begging, why not? But the thing is, sir, if I lose 
everything I've ever worked for, as you watch this video right now, which starts off with AdSense. But if I lose everything I've ever, uh, that I've gained, do you know I would still have lived 10 times the life you've lived? Again, my failure does not mean your success. If I go homeless and broke today, I will have still enjoyed the things that made you jealous for years, that made you make videos about me for years. That should mean something. You know, it's like making fun of the guy who dunked when you've never dunked and you were jealous of the guy who dunked and now you're making fun of him because he can't dunk anymore. His time has passed. Well, sir, maybe you don't know, but everybody's time in the sun passes. So no matter what happens to me from here on out, I still lived a better life than you. And that's why you and your friends are upset. Remember that. If I were to fall dead right now, I still lived a better life than he did. That's what makes no sense that a grown ass man would have called me and he called me several times over and over. If it was a bitch called me like that, I'd understand. A man though? No, I don't get that. I don't understand why a man would feel the need to call another man that many damn times. To so say what? What do you have to say to that man? That's that important that you must then continue to call that man over and over again. But when that man call your whole ass, what do you do? You duck. Charles said, be the bigger man. Charles, what do you mean be the bigger man? What am I doing that's showing them the lesser man? Charles? What am I doing to show that I'm the lesser man? Yeah, there was somebody over there named Cherry Bomb. I don't know if, y'all gotta remember, Cherry Bomb is not the same as Bomb Cherry. They're two different people. I would like to know, uh, bro, what am, what am I doing? Edward, um, why don't you call the, the call in, the, call into the show right now, man. Tell me how I uh, stoop to his level. Uh, please. Um, I'm going to give Edward an opportunity to call me since, uh, this whole ain't, um, let me see if I can figure out the number. I keep forgetting what the number is. Hold on. Just give me a second. All right, the number's on the screen. Go ahead and call in, bro, and tell me how I need to be the bigger man and how I've done something to show that I'm not, how I'm exacerbating, oh shit, how I'm exacerbating the problem and all of that good stuff. The number's on the screen, go ahead and call in. We're going to wait to see if this, uh, if a phone call is made or if people in here, because if you don't call in, then we know he's trolling. So the number's on the screen and I'm waiting for the phone to ring. All right. There's the phone.
phone. Let's answer it. Call from Maria. All right, Maria. Maria, you're on the line. Hey, Tommy. I just wanted to tell you that um, all this beef that you got going on or whatever, like your real true uh, fans and people who t tune in really like the old shows better. And we would love for you to get back to the stories and all the information that you would give out to us instead of wasting it on these dumb asses. I get it. And you know what's the best way you know what's the best way to um show me that y'all would really love me to do that? How? Go on, tell me. You don't know what's the best way to do it? Let me guess, donate. Yeah, because don't you uh pay for the movies you like and you don't pay for the ones you don't? Right. Uh huh. Don't you pay for the music you like and you don't pay for the ones you don't? I've donated to you probably about three times, sir. Okay. And how many um Videos have you I just done? Got to get everybody was... else on band on the bandwagon, I guess. No, I'm saying like like how many times have I made videos that you like? If you say you donated three times, how many videos have I made that you like? Oh, you've made multiple videos, but I couldn't possibly donate to every. No, I understand. Video. So so I've also made multiple videos, and since you couldn't possibly donate, I couldn't possibly ignore a lot of stuff that I just want to get off my chest either. Because remember, what you look for for entertainment, it is my real life. <laughs> I got you. I got you. If that's your real life and you want to put it on display, that's fine. Mm hmm. Because remember, the reason that y'all like me is because I was putting my real life and everything of how I felt on display, too. So when I have to deal with the repercussions of it, again, if you are not paying for all of the movies that the individual is putting out, then understand that some of these are just passion projects that that person want to put out. Mm -hmm. You might not like the passion project. You know, when Johnny Gill do music, you don't like. Johnny Gill might want to do, or when uh, Eddie Murphy do an album and you want him to just stick to comedy? Well, you're a smart motherfucker. I got to give it to you because, goddamn, you run miles around a motherfucker. I got to give it to you because, hell, I thought I had a damn point and was going to call it in to compliment you, but what do I know? I'm just an Okie from Muskogee in Oklahoma. So I guess I'll let you go, sir. Well, no problem. Uh, guys, uh, you can call in. And again, uh, just this idea of people saying, well, we liked you better when you were doing this. Hey, I understand it. It's the middle of the damn day. What was I supposed to do in the middle of the day? Oh, give you more of what you like. Well, maybe I can also prove a point of what's going on around me, which is kind of what's going on in the black community every time you look at it. Oh, I know purple one. I, I hear it, but it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I just laugh at it. Call from Edward Hurley. Uh, go ahead. To accept, press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. Uh, hold on a second. Who's to this accept, 773? press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. Hello? How you doing, Mr. Sotomayor? Uh, I'm doing well. Who's this? This is Edward from the comment. All right, go ahead. Um, Mr. Sotomayor, the only reason I say, you know, in a sense you're stupid to his level because, let's keep it real, these YouTubers that are coming at you, You've helped them in, in, in more than one way. Hell, I'll admit, every time you, you'll, you'll be in a sentence and then you'll say a word, you'll be like, look it up, nigga, look it up. I'll stop doing what I'm doing and actually go to the, uh, the, the, um, the, the, the dictionary and look the word up. I mean, you do better people's lives. And it messed up. Like that one time, L.A., he was like, you know what, Tommy? You have given me a lot of uh, uh, shine and this and that, and a lot of my revenue has come from you and this and that. But my whole thing was, Dude, your, your, your rain or shine, whatever you thought you had, has been gone. Why, at the end of your road, you got to get this man his props? It was it was very obvious you should have been gave this man his props. Oh, and one more thing I would like to say is, you know, like sometimes when you, you, you um, I'll, I'll quote unquote, go hard on certain things or people, but then the, like the next week you'll be, you, you'll make a video, you're actually out there donating and, and, and protesting. So it's like, you know, actions speak louder than words. So, but but I hate when those people be like, well, you know, we didn't see that, but we just want to dwell on what he's saying type shit. Like, that's that's ignorant. You're helping these people. These people are getting ideas from you, any and everything. Money because of you, because of your name, views. These people are getting the most attention they've ever gotten in years because of you. And I just think, like, like, like one time, sir, I was in, um, I believe, one of your uh, other chats, 
uh, and I said, um, I just wanted your time for five to t- uh, ten minutes because of something I was studying in my American literature. And I'm like, man, you know, um, you, you, you had mentioned uh, something. Uh, it was, it was uh, I'm 28 now, so this is when I was like 25. Mentioned, but, but, the point, but the point is, you know, because of that, that test and that grading, I got an A on it, you know, and I always wanted to display it to you. And, you know, it, it's just you help a lot of people. No matter what anyone says, you do help. And I just be finding it, you know, I, I don't know. A lot of people don't want to say it, Tommy, but you are a high caliber of an individual. Like, like when people be like, uh, like when you be saying, you know, I'm not your leader, but un, undocumented mentality wise they have labeled you as their leader hell people come when you speak we know nothing stupid is coming out of your mouth we 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 know this you you give people a better view and way to speak on it some of them people can't even deny that they feel you almost the stuff you saying how signed and said it uh uh, uh la uh what, what's the other dude with so the I'm glasses just, so uh, i'm just asking how am i stupid mm-hmm. to that level then again how, 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 how are you stupid to the level sir because in all honesty the, the the man said that he had had a show and you called in to start something and then you hung up real quick. Now I didn't see. I don't know if that's true or not, but that yes. sounds like some shit they would do. That's just that's, to, just to. That's not true. I'm sorry. That's not true. Okay, I'm sorry because I was um in his live chat and he was like, people who are just coming in, moderators, tell the people what just happened. And they were typing in, a, yeah, you had a show going, and you, he called in to start something, and he hung up nope. real quick. And now he has me on his live talking about me saying that I did something. He said, you already had it set up hours ago planning it or something like that. Nope. And I'm like, why would Tommy do that? Tommy's giving you his number plenty of times to talk to him one-on-one. So wait a minute. If you believed all that, when I started playing the messages, surely at that point you'd have said, well, that can't be true because you were literally calling this man over and over again. You're right, but again, that's why I say <laughs> but not, not just. What I'm saying just, though, that's, just, when y'all ask why I do this, because y'all will listen. It's, it's people who are listening to these people sit up here and say fuck shit. Mm-hmm. I don't defend myself. Y'all listen to these people say, act like I'm fucking with them. Then when I don't say anything to them, then they start fucking with me. Then they'll go right back to when I finally say something. Then they're the victims again. Well, one thing I will admit, sir, every time somebody says something about you, I go to the video uh, uh, as far as what you, like, what made you say what you said. Because, again, you didn't wake up and, and, and be about on the you, scene I recording this stuff. This stuff was, was sent to you. So exactly. you're not wrong for saying your opinion. But it's just they try to make it seem like, oh, well, Tommy's saying something about someone that's close to me. Let me re- reality, uh, retaliate and say something about him. That's not that's not true. I've, I've never been one of those individuals that have believed that. Um, you are being came at for a reason, because they are coming at you for no reason. They they they, they just are. But my, my whole thing is, and I and I told another word. Why don't y'all ever sit down and have a, a live debate or just a discussion? Because in all honesty, I, I could be wrong, but he's one of the uh, most intellectual opposing sides that come at you. Wait a minute, my you believe? Uh, okay, so you believe that person that called me is so intellectual? That's what you believe. You believe that person who is at this point? Not, no, not not at this point because of he's calling you and leaving you messages. That's just some. He, he's obsessed, my opinion, on that note. But I mean, um, when he, he, some of the videos he's made, he'll state his points and facts and stuff like that. You know, to his acknowledgement. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm listening to the man. I'm listening to the man speak, and I'm, I'm just wanting to listen to you speak. I'm just wondering if. Because I know it ain't you. You're not the one that's going to be like, yeah, I'm with it. you're not the one yelling and screaming because you didn't do anything. So I'd be, just be wondering, to, and I even messaged him. I said, if Tommy's doing all this so you say, why can't you just sit down calmly with the man, talk to him one-on-one, and put him on blast for everything he did? Then there's an excuse to, after this, after that, so, after so this, then, after oh, that. So, so like, if you're saying this, how can you tell me that this man is so intellectual when every time you ask him to do something, he don't know how to do it? When the majority of people whose audiences don't like me, like this person in here put right as if I'm stupid or the people who are in there blocking are stupid. See, the woman who wrote something, nothing happened to her. But I got moderators who don't understand that Alex's booty shorts probably should be blocked. That's what I mean. I'm not only surrounded by it, but I have other people who are surrounded by it. By stupid shit. The person who made a comment who didn't say anything wrong, they got blocked, I guess, because they typed in big letters or what, but they didn't get it. 
but Alex's booty mm. shorts just slides right on through. And these and, same and, and people you know, is like what you're saying. Uh, uh, you're telling me this man's intelligent. Intelligent how? Not 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 from that. Because to be honest with you, I've watched you, and then I'm like, you know what? Let me see what Tommy's talking about. This guy is, uh, you know, just just loco. So I looked at some of his videos, and one thing I can say about the man when he has when, when he be going live, Mr. Sotomayor, and he be having not enough when he uh, doesn't have a lot of numbers in his chat, the man can speak for himself. He speak. He speaks like he got some sense. When he got everybody and their mom over there, a hundred people, like he ain't never had a hundred people, and he's just listening to any and everything they're saying. That's when he gets stupid. Slash. I've never, and well, and I've even sent him an LA message. Well, Y'all need not laugh for talking about somebody's kids. Well, let me actual. let That's me say bigger. something to you. The so intelligent man would be able to hold his composure at all times. Intelligence is something you is very difficult to hide. It's hard for it. Listen. For an, uh, a dumb man can sound really intelligent around other dumb people because they can listen mm -hmm. to a couple of words that are said by someone else and then sound very intelligent. But when you watch him do a show that he did this morning, which was a direct ripoff of the show I did last night, would y'all understand that this individual is not intelligent? He repeats what he hears. He literally did a show based upon what I said last night and said the talking points. I pointed it out, then he took it down. But let me but let me go to another phone call and see if I can get more people because I was waiting on you to tell me how I was being like them. Let's see if I can. Yes, get sir. Yes, sir. You have a you have a wonderful day. You too. Yep. Hello. Yep. All right. No, how you doing, Tommy? This Jr. Man. I'm doing well. What What's up? I just call to you, man. Don't be worried about them people, man. People really just own. They just they just jealous, jealous of you at the end of the day. That's all it boils down to. That man left you a damn two-page paper on your voicemail. Well, uh, that's I'm not worried about them. I just used it for content. You give me the content. Yeah. I'm just sitting here. I said, you know what? I'm going to continue yeah. to show. Every time these dumb niggas are doing stupid shit like this, I'm going to take time when I have it. And just show them I how Negroes just wake up no every day like to that. do dumb shit, and not and not like dumb shit. It's the most ridiculous shit possible. This is stupid. I ain't never seen no shit like that. No grown man leave, leave, leave another man a voicemail like that. Not a voicemail, several. Oh yeah, m m multiple voicemails. Mm hmm. But then when you try to call the little hoe, what did he do now? After calling me this morning, and everything. Try to call the hoe, he ain't got nothing to say. He takes his video down, which makes him look stupid because he was lying. But what's worse is not that he's a liar, it's the fact that he has an audience members, a group of people who are telling him you're right all the time. You got a bunch of people telling people that they're right when they are saying nothing. I'm gonna try to get to the people who, um, if I can though, I wanna get to some of the people who are trying to tell me why he believe, why they believe that he's right and I'm wrong. So go ahead. Call in. The number's on the screen. Go ahead and call in and explain to me how I'm playing victim, how I'm begging for money, and um, all this stuff that, that these people are saying while they're doing stuff to me and I'm doing nothing to them. I, I just want to hear how that works. And while I'm doing this, let me see if I can find something. Oh, and hold on. And guys... If you're watching me on live with Tommy Sotomayor, if you're watching me on live with Tommy Sotomayor, remember, I'm going I'm gonna cut it off now, so you have to come over here and watch the rest of the show. Uh, go ahead, brother. What's your, what's your point?